Hey, 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 what's up? I am, uh, I am Grimskull, the super awesome pixel pushing samurai. Welcome to my stream. I am a graphic designer, motion graphic artist, and content creator. Appreciate you guys coming to hang out. Tonight, we are going to go over bounding boxes and gt tide designer very handy tool appreciate you guys uh coming to hang out what's up what's up sean joseph yes go eat some dinner appreciate you popping in hello michelle how are you doing good here and uh you know let's kind of jump into it just real quick uh, in case I have to like, you know, jet for whatever reason. So I've been really getting more into, uh, the GT Tide designer, uh, I use since I use vMix and, and it's, it's a pretty flexible tool. I mean, you know, there's a few things that it doesn't do, but you know, if, if you need to do some, you know, good titles within vMix, without having, you know, any kind of fancy program. That's what GT Title Designer does. And, you know, I don't, you know, when, when you're creating lower thirds, you know, text sometimes can be kind of tricky, depending on what you're, uh, you know, what you're doing. Sometimes there's a lot of space left over in your boxes. If you have a, you know, short name or title in there. Uh, sometimes they don't quite fit. But I found a way, and it's built into the title designer, of how you can have your boxes stretch or auto size with the text using the bounding feature. So let's, let's take a look at that. So here's what I got. I've, I've got just your basic plain lower third. Plain lower third here with, you know, two lines of text. Because they usually have a place for a name. And then if you want to give some extra information, like the title of the person. You know. Where they're from. Maybe you want to give like a URL or something. Uh, you can do that at the bottom. So let's go with maybe putting our second line of text 
above it. That looks good. And let's take our, we've got this blue line bot, blue box here. Let's move this up some. Maybe bring our text down just a bit. You can size the boxes so that you know, it's, it fits the within the bounds of the box. And we're going to take our text. Maybe. Sometimes it's hard to drag. So if you need to, you can always go up to the format. And with the width and height, you can set that. I want to make the, the text a little bigger. You can go to 60. Let's leave it that way. I mean, you know, it looks okay. It looks okay. But I kind of want the boxes to fit closer to the text. But but what happens, you know, if my box is, you know, that big and then whatever title text up here they put in you know goes outside of it well here's what we can do over in the layers panel there's blue line i'm gonna i'm gonna click on blue line i'm gonna go to format i'm gonna go over to this where it says none but it's it'll say crop mask all pixels this is this is the bounding the bounding function Right now it's now it's bound to none, but with the blue line selected, I'm going to click that and we're going to go to line to text. Now what it did is because my text box is now, uh, it is, is very long, but it did crop it so that, that, uh, the bound fit it to the text box. Now we can fix that. We can fix that because we don't want it like, you know, butting up against the uh, back here. So with that, uh, with that blue line selected, we go to the left and we can either click and drag and drag out our our bounding box back even with that lower box. But we also want to go to the text. So we want to click on line two. And we need, we need to set that from fixed to width. So now the text box stays the width of whatever text is in it. But again, it cuts off right right at the end of the text and we don't want that so we're going to click back on that blue line go back to format and then we're going to go to the right and we're going to go about 27 in in whatever number you feel works so there you go so now the top line here with the text has this nice box got this bounding box now so now we can go in here. And as we delete text, you see the box shrinks. As we type text, you know, name text box is short, but if but if we type more text, it gets bigger. So if, you know, whoever you have has a short title, it will, the, the, the background will stay short. If it has a big title, it'll stay long.
So in a nutshell, that's how you use the bounding function in GT Title Designer to resize your boxes. Now you go in and play around with it. See what kind of neat things you can do with it. Uh, but not only can you bound, bound like one box to the, to uh, the text, you can you can bound several bind several boxes. You know, several boxes uh, 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 to the one text. So if you wanted kind of a nice kind of interesting animation. We can uh, duplicate the blue line. We're going to copy. We're going to paste it. I'm going to change that color to, uh, let's say we're going to change the color to just magenta, right? And I'm going to say magenta line. I'm going to, I'm going to take that one. I'm going to move it down below, below the blue line. Since it's a copy, it's already still bound to that line two text. But I'm going to go in and we're going to change the left to 30. Actually, we, let's go 35. That way you can see it really good. And then right 35. That way you can see that text, right? Now, we'll need to move the text so we can go up to the line 2 text. And in the, uh, the X axis, we can scrub it to the right. So that it lines up there. So now we got this nice, you know, bookend kind of graphic on those. And it'll do the same thing. Now both those boxes, both those boxes right? Both those box bounding boxes will will auto resize with no worries, John. Both those bounding boxes will both auto size as you type in text. I'm gonna I'm gonna hide the the the, uh, the magenta box in line two here in line well the line one real quick. Kind of small. So we can do the same thing with the magenta box, right? We'll take the magenta box. We're going to go to format under bounding where it says none, click down and we're going to say line, uh, line, what is that? Line one text. Yes. And again, it fits it to the text box, which, you know, I made big, but if you want your text, uh, if you want your text to, you know, fit the text box you got to make sure to go up to uh the home and over under text width now because it fit to the text box here we got it we're gonna have to go into uh the format and then we'll We'll bring it out to the out to the left. Oops. Make sure you're on, you know, on the uh, the layer that you want to do that to. Uh, and then we're gonna we're just eyeballing it right now, and we're gonna bring that bottom one out to the right past. 
pass there. But then we're going to take the top and we're going to we're going to size that up a bit. And then we'll take the bottom and size that about the same to about 11. So now when you have a, a, a name that is really long, it increases the size of that box. And you can add all the animations and everything you need to uh, that you want in the transition in, and it'll still retain the size you know, the bounding to those text boxes that uh, you, you put in. There's another trick too. There's another trick. You do the same thing with masks. So I'm going to hide the magenta box. And I've got this mask here. I'll bring up my image. And I'm going to click my image. I'm going to go to effects. I'm going to select mask. With the mask selected, I'm going to Turn the opacity down to zero. So now you can see my background here with that little, you know, the little design in it. Right? I'm going to take the mask though. I'm going to, well, I'm going to go back to, yeah, with the mask selected, I'm then going to go back to format, hit none, and then line one. And again, it now it, it, it put the bounding box to the text. But with the mask still, still selected, I want to change those boundings, you know, back out to that, you know, to the left and a little, a little bit to the right. We want to add that 11 to the top and then 11 to the bottom, right? So you can even use masks with the bounding on images to create some interesting effects. I'll say name that is really long, but it, it could be longer, right? Now, of course, you you kind of want to. There's going to be a limit because you know you don't want to keep typing and have it go all the way off. So, whoever your uh, your your lower third editor is, just be mindful. You know, you, you there's certainly going to be a limit. You want to you know you know, you don't want certainly don't want your names to to be you know short and then have a title. Wherever you put this, this to be, you know, really long. That looks kind of dumb. So you may may have to go in here and set a few uh, few spaces to even it out. You know, but most of the time you should be okay. You should be okay. But either way, now your text boxes and backgrounds will stay, you know, will size according to, to what text is in there. And, and it just gives you some flexibility in how things look. So there you go. Bounding boxes in GT Idle Designer. Thanks for joining me. I am Grimskull, the super awesome pixel pushing samurai. See you next video. Cut! Yes. I don't know. It doesn't show. It's not showing, but apparently I've got, uh, wait, is it showing? I can't tell.
Is it showing? What is my subs? Nope. Still, still says if you go to my actual YouTube channel, I've got 300 and something subscribers now. Thank you. Thank you. I've got over 3,000 watch hours, by the way. So I just need, what, uh, um, uh, uh, 700 and something more subs? I think if I actually do some videos, I'll, I'll get somewhere. Thirty-seven peep, no way. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't know all your names, but thank you, all you lurkers out there, you thirty-seven, you thirty-seven people. Anybody got any questions about anything? About the bounding boxes, I could try to answer them. Like I said, I did really simple, really simple. What's just as long as I don't get flooded with a lot of spammers, right? Right. I should probably, I think I should turn, I didn't, should, I'm just going to go down and turn that, that count off the, uh, the sub count off, uh, the sub goal off. Cause it's not working. It's not working. I don't know why stream elements. Here I come. Stream elements. We're gonna we're gonna be turning things off in here. Yeah, what? Never mind. Never mind. Uh, it kind. I think it updated. Chat may disappear. Yeah, there you go. Look. 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 Three hundred. Three hundred. All right. As long as there's no shenanigans going on. It's much appreciated. Thanks, you guys, for watching and tuning in. If you missed what I was doing just a minute ago, I was we. This was a a quick a quick tutorial. This was a quick tutorial on how to do bounding boxes, and I'm gonna get. Let me go through this one more time. I'm I'm just gonna I'm gonna. I'm going to delete all this and so we'll just go from scratch real quick. Real quick. All right. We'll go. We're, we're, we're deleting. It. We're going to go from scratch. So, so, you know, you want to create about, you got a nice lower third. You've got some text, right? You know, and you want your box, your background to, you know, grow with your text. But yes, I, promotions work apparently. So let's create our, we're going to create a lower third. Let's not create the, the regular, you know. Can we, I think we can skew this. Right.
Yeah, there we go. We're going to skew it. Let's skew the... Make it, make it rectangular. Let's do a nice, smooth drop shadow. That kind of looks cool. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to copy that rectangle. We're going to paste it, right? I'm going to move it up there. And actually, we're going to take that drop shadow off. I don't like that drop shadow up there. Drop, take that drop shadow. Let us, let us, uh, let's, let's, what do we want to do? Let's change the color. I'm going to use my colors. I'm going to use my colors. I can't see chat. Where'd chat go? The algorithm likes, like, I spent several hours in GT today. Part of my to introduce a number of inputs. Now at 54 from seven. Nice. Nice. Am I, am I still at 39? That's what I really want to know. Uh, let's create the, the bottom one is blue. And then the top one we're going to put as magenta. I'm performing tonight. All right, so we got our text box here. Or our, our boxes here. We need some text. So we're gonna add a little bit of text. Not that 3D stuff. We don't we don't do that crap. We're just gonna do a nice one liner with my font. All the way down that ends. Why did I pick a font that started with N? I don't know. M N M. I'm not even there yet. I'm still in the M's. What's the hell? M N. There we go. Nope. Yeah. Nick U Sands sounds like a hospital thing. We're gonna make this one uh, center in that. I want to uh, make the text box the same same height as this upper box here. I don't want word wrap and we want it on width so that as you type text, the box grows if, and when you delete text, it shrinks. What we want to do is we want both of these boxes to grow with it. So I'm going to say this is Grim Skull. All right, it's two L's. We'll make the text white just for uh, the, the, the purposes of this video. Effects, uh, shadow, sharp shadow. I like that. It's not bad. So what we want to do is we're going to use the bounding feature, which is under format. Bounding with rectangle two selected, which is, which is the magenta. Let's name that magenta so we can keep them straight magenta box and then blue box always name your layers always name your layers it helps keep things simple if you don't name them and they're just generic you're like you know rectangle one rect it just doesn't cut it text block we're gonna name we're gonna call this title text So we're going to select the magenta box and we're going to go over with it selected in the bounding section. We're going to select title text that, that shrank that whole box to the bounds of the text. 
which is what we want. That's what we want. But we don't want our text, you know, it kind of, I don't know, that kind of looks cool. I like that. I kind of like that. I think I might leave it like that. I think I might leave it like that. I kind of like that. It's kind of a happy accident there. I like the text kind of breaking, breaking the bounds of that box. That is, that's a good thing. Break out of these, break, you know, break out of the, the box, you know, some people aren't able to do that. They, they love putting themselves in boxes, you know, boxes right in front of you, boxes to the left, boxes to the right. They always want to be in boxes. I don't understand it sometimes. Break out of the box. So we're going to break out of the box. Oh, yeah. We're breaking out of the box. Now we want to do the same thing with the blue box. We're going to select it. We're going to go up to uh, the bounding section and then click text again. It's going to create, make it the same size. That's fine. That's fine. Because in that bounding area, if we go back and select the, you make sure the blue box is selected, we can break out of those bounds. We can move that box out to the left. We can move it out to the right. We can move it down out to the bottom. And I'm going to take that top. and move it down a bit. So we got an interesting thing going on. Interesting. I think I want to go back to the left even some more. Right? Even some more. I like that. I like the way that looks. I think we need to put some uh, animation on it. But so what I just showed you, here's here's what here's here's the, the trick of it, right? Now we can go in and say this is Grim Skull. The super Awesome pixel pusher. Sounds like a drug dealer. Uh, I don't think that's not what I'm going for. So, so let's samurai. Samurai. So let's, there you go. You know. Or, you know, you know, we could put just a plain name in there. David Foster, you know, and, and it, and it, and it, groups in there what needs padding it does not need padding actually i like my name in there better oh it's not working uh alt zero one four nine nope that didn't work alt zero one four nine that still didn't work. I'm trying to put a bullet, but Alt Zero One Four Nine. Okay, there, there it is. The pixel pushing, pushing, Sam or I. I'm terrible spelling. I don't think so. I don't think you can set a stop point. I'm not I'm not 100% positive. But if you ask that question in the comments, I will check it out. What's up, Jason? Look at that J Jason everybody. Everybody this Jason has uh switched from Midwest Merchandiser to Breakpoint Studio. Cuz he's no longer in the Midwest, so he's Break Breaking Point Studio. I gave him a little, uh, little, little suggestions on uh, his logo, and he has a nice looking kind of uh, uh, professional quality logo there. Thanks for joining. I 
I like I like that the, the name is breaking the bounds of that top box. So we're going to leave it that way. We're going to leave it that way. Yes, you put your question in chat. I don't know the answer to that, but if you put your question in the comments, I can go back and review the comments and uh, and uh, find out an answer for you. Because I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that. I don't know. Because if we switch it to fixed... You may be able to with scripting. It may be possible. With scripting. Kevin, you're the scripting expert here. But now, so I switched it to fixed, and uh, yeah, it uh, the box no longer grows if you have it in, in fixed. So you gotta have it set to width. Uh, Grim skull. I will try to find that out though. But possibly with scripting. We can do that. So let's animate this in a bit. I'm going to turn my text off so we can uh, text box off. So we can focus on the the two boxes. Actually, I'm going to turn the blue box off. So with my uh, magenta selected, we're going to go up to animations. I like the reveal. Reveal is cool. No delay. And let's start with 0.5 and then cubic easing in and out. Point five seems a little bit too slow. I like that. Let's turn on our blue box and animation. We're going to do a reveal also. We're going to set the delay to like point three. Let's see how that works. Thanks, thanks. Point, we want point three, and what do we do? Point eight as the duration before. Yeah. Maybe point two. Maybe point one. I kind of want them to come in, both kind of come in to a, just slightly delayed, or may, maybe we do it the other way around. Maybe the blue box is zero. I think that'll look better. Blue box is zero. Let's go to like, and then do like 0.3. No worries, Michelle. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. There we go. That's better. The blue box. And then, then, then our upper box. Let's, uh, let's add in our text. Magenta boxes is delayed by three. Let's delay our text by about 
0.5 and also go 0.8 with cubic easing in and out. I like it. I like it. So David wants me to try typing longer than the space and see what it does. Let's go. I think I tried that earlier and we just, it just, you know, we'll type longer than the space and see if it, yeah, it just keeps running off the screen. Keeps running off the screen. You should be able to. I agree. Like I said, I, I, so far, I, I, you know, there may be some things with scripting you can do. Uh, but it seems like just in the title designer, there's just basic things you could do. I, I would love them to put some more font controls. Cause the only thing you could choose as far as font, uh, fonts is, uh, like you choose the font, you could choose the size. Uh, you know, you could choose the weight. You could italicize it, underline it. You can even strike it out, make it all caps, go, you know, right to left. You could center it right, left, justify it, all that kind of stuff. But you can't adjust. You can't adjust any of like the line width or the line height or anything like that. It is very, it's very basic, but you know. So far, there's no spacing. No, no. Yeah, nothing, nothing like that. You can, you can, you can change how the box works. If it's a fixed width, fixed box, you know, change the box with the width, change the box with the height. You could shrink it, you know, like now, if I try to type, you know, so that, you know, that happens. And that's not we, what we wanted to do. With and height, that that just kind of makes the bot, you know, makes the uh, box shrink to the actual, you know, height. And we don't, that doesn't work for us. So the width, which now, <laughs> we'll have to stretch that back out. There we go. I like it. I, I think that works good. Can we add a, let's add a, can we add a sharp drop shadow to uh, the magenta box? We've got a soft drop shadow there. Let's add a. Let's see how a sharp drop shadow. Maybe we had a draw a sharp drop shadow to both. That kind of looks cool. Has that kind of retro feel. Hit enter and try next line. Next line. Yeah, that, that looks terrible. That looks terrible.
and easy and go back and do width and height I mean that stretches it out I don't know it, it, it really depends on how long you want your text right You could do a two line this way. That could work. I mean, for 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 some things. But for now, we're just going to keep it with the width. The 22. The age I wish I still was. Oh. What happened? I did something. I did a thing. Where did my boxes go? They're there. Did I shrink them? Did they shrink? I don't, I don't think they did. Maybe? All right, magenta, format, none. Okay, there it is. I don't want, I want my text to be, yeah, that's what, uh, width, width. I don't want that there, okay. Let's go back to the blue box. So we get a format, we get a none, and then Title text. There we go. All right. Back in business. And you know what I say? Always be saving. Always, ABS. Always be saving. Always be saving. And there you go. Once again, that's two, two quick times I did the uh, bounding box. So, folks, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just kind of, you know. Wrapping up the tutorial part of the uh, the stream. We can play around a bit. Anti-lock braking system, yeah. Uh, we could uh, animate it out, right? That was the transition in, uh, transition out. Uh, sorry, my nose is starting to run. So transition out. The text was the first, we're going to reveal, we're going to go the other way. Wait, I think we can go the same way. No, nope, we want to go the other way. We definitely want it to go the other. We want it to go whoop, off that way. We don't want it to be a second though. We want it to be 0.8. Right? Next is the magenta box. 
I believe the transition in on that one is like 0.3 and point. I think maybe we could say we could, we could keep it that way. Yeah. Keep it that way. The transition out on the magenta box reveal going the other way. I'm going to do 0 0.3, 0 0.8 duration. Cubic easing in and out. And then the blue box, last but not least, is 0 0.8. cubic in and out so let's uh, let's say animate in Oop, went the wrong way blue box go gotta get it go the other way there we go all right the, the transition out the blue box is going because we need to set that duration to 0. 0.5 that's what that's what we needed to do 0.5 there we go comes in comes out or goes out goes in hi i don't know how you want to say that i don't know i don't know i don't know how you want to say it i don't know how you want to say it all right Uh, we could do the, uh, do the, uh, the bounding box over, over a, uh, an image, right? So let's do this. We're going to import. Well, first off, let's let's import this. We got to, you know, let's let's spice this son of a gun up. Let's spice this guy up. We're going to pull that in. I'm going to pull in a background image. I kind of want to go to let's overlays here backgrounds panels uh la, 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 la. graphic individuals magenta scenes backgrounds non animated let's let's grab this one let's grab this one and i am actually going to uh unlock it well i'm going to click the image and then shrink it what dang it all right we have to go to format and I, it's not the layer I want. It's the image image too. Like we just brought in the logo. So logo bug, right? And then BG bar. That's let's name it BG bar. So BG bar, we're going to go in here and uh, size it down a little bit. All right, and then kind of move it to the middle. Use that, that alignment. You see that green line that comes up that tells you you're in the middle. Uh, I'm then going to use that blue box, right? I'm going to pull that background bar down to the bottom, right? We're going to use that blue box as a mask I'm gonna go to blue box I'm gonna go to effects I'm gonna take that drop shadow off 
drop shadow. I'm taking that drop shadow off. We're gonna we're gonna rename blue box to mask. And then with the BG bar selected, make sure you're on effects, which are already on effects. We're gonna go over to this little crop tool looking thing where it says mask. And we're going to select mask with the blue bar, with the with the BG bar selected. Now, it's still blue because there's when you're creating masks in GT Title Designer, there's one very important step you have to do when you're creating masks. You have to go to the mask layer under the effects tab and you have to set it to the opacity to zero or else it will just keep showing that color of the actual mask. But as you can see, I can turn everything off and it is masking that background layer. I can then I can go in and move that background layer uh, around Maybe I want to keep that blue line there. That blue line is kind of cool. I like that blue line in there. I'm going to keep that. We're going to turn the magenta layer back on. Maybe you want to want to turn that one blue. Let's turn that to the back to a blue color. Let's use my blue. Make that blue. That way that the magenta in the background is there. There. logo bug where do i want my logo bug maybe here oops i'll lock everything else down real quick while i play with my logo bug i mean when i mess with the logo but i don't play i don't play with my bug i don't you know, i don't play with bugs i mean i used to but you know I do kind of want to drop shadow on the on that one though. I'm gonna to go to effects. That looks kind of cool. I like that. I like the way that looks. I do. Now, I'm gonna look. I'm gonna click on my mask. Right. That used to be the blue box. I didn't change anything else. I did not change anything else about that blue box other than its name and making it a mask. If we go up to format and we check our bounding box, our bounding, it's all set the same. So with that image masked with that box, it will then, ex you know, you know, shrink and expand as I type. I don't like the, 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 the drop shadow, uh, the magenta box is now the blue box, but the drop shadow, I let's, let's find a different color. Let's go back to effects, right? Can we change the color? We can, and maybe, yeah, like that. There we go. It looks all right. Maybe get rid of it. That blue bar, we need to make that blue bar go down a little bit more. So if we uncheck blue background and with it selected, I think we can drag that. There we go. The blue bar is kind of showing. That's good. That's what we want. That's what we want. Uh, go to back to animations. We'll go to transmission. It will tra okay. Boom. I, th I think, uh, I think we want our, our skull to rotate.
I don't want it to rotate on an axis that way. Maybe 0.5. It keeps on, it seems kind of lame. Two. I didn't make it spin faster. That's the question. There we go. That That's spun a little bit faster. Now, so on our logo bug, on our transition in on our animations we're on number one right that's the f we, we've added one animation you can add up to three animations that 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 occur you can set them to kind of go all go at the same time or delay them if you want i want to do a zoom and i don't want to delay i don't want to delay well let's go back to rotate make sure you're on number the number you want like two that's the second one we want to go to two right now it's selected to none and it and you haven't selected anything so it's going to stay black but as soon as you select something it's going to activate it that way you know you have two animations going on what did i say point point two So I'll get back to logo bug, point two, zoom. That zoom kind of the rot that zoom didn't isn't happening where I wanted to. Let me go back to that number one, right? Yeah, because our rotation got reset. So we're gonna set that to the middle because I want it to rotate, you know, around. It was really quick. Maybe, maybe, maybe we go to four. That's not bad. I like that. I like that. We might move it over a little bit just to, just to, you know, not crowd the. go to our transition out and we'll probably want to do that right off the bat with those right you know rotate point what did i say point four and then zoom what, what is it did i have it at point 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 two Two. In. It didn't do anything. Did I forget something? Delay, delay. Reverse. Do I need to reverse? That's what I need to do. No. Reverse. Oh, I've done, so, I, I was on the wrong thing. I was on my BG bar. That sucks.
None. So on the BG bar was reveal. BG bar two was none. One is reveal. We need a reverse. That's I, I put reverse on both of those, which I didn't mean to do. Ooh. All right, I think we're back to normal now. Sorta. Maybe there was delay. A point point five delay. Point five. Point five delay, and then point eight. I think. Okay, that I think that's back to normal. There we go. All right. So, so back to our logo bug. Transition out. Transition one is zoom. I'm going to say point, point two. And I did want to do the reverse, right? Spin in. No, we don't want to reverse it. There we go. Because if you reverse it, it just makes it, it's, you're transitioning out, and it just makes it look like it's transitioning back in. So don't, don't check reverse. And we want to rotate, rotate uh, point eight, right? No. That's delay. We don't want the delay, but we want to rotate point eight in the center. I think this one we may want to reverse, right? No. I like that. I like it. I like it. I like it. File save. Always be saving. Always be saving. So there you have it. Using bounding boxes that shrink and grow with the size of your text. You can use masks. Also, on images that are still bounding boxes. So, go out there and uh, see what you can do. See what you can do with them. Quite welcome. If you enjoyed... This stream or got anything out of the con got any con got anything out of the content and you want to help support the stream head over to not Twitter not Twitter you can't head to head over to Twitter and follow me on Twitter if you want follow me on Twitter but if you want to support the stream head over to buymesushi.com And buy me some sushi. I love sushi. And uh, it helps support my channel, what I do here as a content creator. And uh, I can do more tu tutorials like just like this. So 300 subscribers. I don't know what happened. I sort of do, but I appreciate it. Thank you all for joining me tonight. No other questions. Anybody got any topics they want to talk about? Anything? Nothing? <laughs> Someone buy me some sushi. Buy me some sushi. It's okay. It's all right. All right. Catch uh, catch me in chat tomorrow or 
during Redacted. Redacted's back at 3 p.m. Uh, David, 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 David will be uh, streaming. Did you stream tonight? No, Friday. Friday, right? When are you streaming, David? When's the next stream? Friday, right? Please tell me it's Friday. Anybody? Anybody? No. Also, while while I'm giving shout outs, go check out uh, two other great channels. Uh, the Ringside Report Network for your combat. I'm 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 done with it. You're done with you're done. What are you do? are you done with it? What do you mean you're done with it? You're done with streaming? Are you done streaming? Done with streaming? You didn't stream tonight, did you? I don't think you streamed tonight. Ringside Report Network. Go check them out if you want uh, so your, your combat sport fix. If you need some mental medicine, go check out Joseph Club, both on YouTube. Great content creators. Great friends of the show. Do you not see the line above that? No, I do not. Nope, not going to be streaming anymore. Okay. All right. Gotcha. Can I have your stuff? Just say, can I have your stuff? I just, you know. You don't need all that stuff to make videos for OnlyFans. You just need your phone. Haven't you watched the Creative Toolkit? You just need a phone. That's all you need. You just need your phone. It has got the most powerful camera that out 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 does any webcam pretty much on the market today. All you need. And a and a beautiful girl, because <laughs> trust me. Nobody likes watching old men on OnlyFans. I know. I hope it's somebody else's feet. Skiz Mix, what's up? Welcome to the end of the stream. Sorry, I'm fixing the jet. Once again, I appreciate all you guys for being here. Thanks for all the support. It's a great community. Love from India. I mean, yeah, I guess you're right. I I haven't seen your feet. I have not seen. Yeah, I mean, you know, yeah, you're right. I have not. I have no, I have not seen your. No, I'm not. I'm not looking. Yeah, keep the side. Yeah. It, uh, yeah. So 
Sorry, give me a moment. A momento. All right, folks. Just PM'd me. Okay. Just PM'd me. <laughs> Just yeah. I, What? What? Oh, I am not even. No, I see it. I see it up there. I'm not looking at that. I am not looking at that. No. I see it. I can see it in the. There's. It, it's in the list. Ain't happening. Just a little right click, delete. Archive that David Foster shite. <laughs> I was staring at my buy me a coffee because, you know, uh, John said he sent one and and I just, you know, wanted to make sure that I, I can't, I'm not looking at that. If it was recent, I want to make sure to thank. But thank, thanks for all the times that John for your support. All you guys, thank you for so for your support. I have to scrub my eyes out now with bleach and a Brillo pad. Uh, thanks for joining me. Hope you learned something. We'll catch you tomorrow. I'll be back Thursday. Thursday for uh, hopefully another fun-filled, exciting stream. Uh, and, uh, you know, join us on redacted at 3 PM tomorrow or this weekend. I'll be gaming, doing some, uh, gaming streams Saturday, Sunday, 8 AM. Still playing some Minecraft. Appreciate ya. I learned that I missed your stream though. That's all. That's no problem. It's 3 PM central. Is when redacted happens, 3 p.m. Central. So, not, you know, not, not David, 3 p.m. Grim, 3 p.m. Grim, 3 p.m. All right, folks, go have a good one. Have a good night. I will see you next time. Peace. Hey, I pushed the right button this time. <laughs>